What if you could take something tried and true, one of the most widely trusted foundations, and build upon it? What would it look like to pair a pedigreed foundation with the custom touches and nuances of a hyper-focused shipwright? In a lot of cases, yacht owners are forced one way or the other. Should they go with a battle-tested builder at the expense of owning a production boat, or should they take on the unknowns of building something fully custom? I'd like to introduce you to Sea Philly, a 103 Westport West Bay luxury motor yacht. She's built upon a Westport fiberglass hull, which if you ask anyone in the yachting world, is a sure bet. Everything else, however, was North American built at West Bay, with an interior designed by world-renowned Glade Johnson. First commissioned in 2000, this captain-maintained motor yacht has absolutely only gotten better with age. Sea Philly proves that in some senses, you really can have the best of both worlds. She's a stunning ship built by two of North America's most detailed manufacturers, and today we're going to show you what she has to offer. Let's start today's walkthrough on the boat deck. Here are two great tools for exploring shallower waters an 18-foot Novarania tender, and a Yamaha Wave Runner. Both of these are raised and lowered from the water by the steelhead davit. Forward of the tender is a full-size jacuzzi. Now let's step forward underneath the hardtop. With a breezy, open-air feel, the forward section of the flybridge is a great place to cruise with friends and family. There's a wet bar on the port side with a wraparound bar top and four bar stools. This easily surfaces the L-shaped settee on the starboard side. Forward and centerline is the upper helm. This helm is where you or your captain will spend most of your time running this yacht. It offers great visibility and a full complement of navigation electronics that ensure you operate this 103 as safely as possible. For added ease when docking, there are wing stations to both port and starboard. From here, let's enter the wheelhouse. When the rain clouds roll in, this is a coveted retreat and an incredibly comfortable helm at which to weather the storm. The two key pieces of every modern yacht's navigation package are the multifunction displays. In the case of Sea Philly, these garments were part of an overhaul that took place in 2018. Between these are your Detroit diesel engine monitors. Directly below are analog gauges and controls for her twin Northern Lights generators. Further below is a searchlight control, bow thruster joystick, and a control panel for her recently serviced Westmar stabilizer fins. Centerline is a Simrad autopilot with throttles just outboard. Aft in the wheelhouse is an L-shaped seating area the starboard are stairs that go down to the main deck, but we're gonna jump straight to the swim platform from here. From the dock, this is your first impression of this imposing 103. With her timeless name board, she clues you in to what kind of elegant surprise any guest stepping on board can expect to experience. The coolest feature back here is a centerline capstan. This aids when docking when the current is being less than cooperative. Centerline is the crew quarters in a watertight engine room access door. The first of two crew quarters is to port, and you can see how spacious it is. Aft is an ensuite with shower. Cabin 2 has bunks and an ensuite. These cabins are connected by a comfortable crew galley and lounging area. Forward and centerline is the engine room. Designed with ease of service in mind, this spacious engine room is an engineer's delight. Here we see her twin MTU 12V2000 engines. Their services are all up to date. These engines give Sea Philly a cruise speed of around 16 and a half knots. With her stabilizer fins engaged, this cruise speed is incredibly smooth. When she's at full throttle, she has a top speed of 19 knots. With a 4,500 gallon fuel capacity, she has a range of around 2,000 miles. Next, we're going to take a look at the aft deck. 
With a broad alfresco dinette and an expansive molded hardtop, the aft deck is an outdoor paradise. You get the benefits of a cross breeze and fresh air with ample protection from the sun. Forward to starboard are the flybridge access stairs and the second access door to the crew space. Opposite to port is a wet bar. Another great feature of the aft deck is the amount of storage in the gunnels. This is something your crew is really going to appreciate. Forward, we step into her full beam salon. Without sacrificing an inch of her beam, this luminous salon has tremendous volume. To port is plush seating for eight and is sure to be a guest favorite. To starboard is a high-low TV and convenient access to the AV equipment like the stereo and satellite TV boxes. In the forward half of the salon is the formal dining area. With seating for eight around a high-gloss table, this is the most elegant dining location on board. Outboard of this is storage. Let's stick to the port side and make our way down to the foyer. This marble foyer connects three of the four staterooms found on board. First, forward, is the master. Entering through double doors, there's a centerline king berth. On the starboard side is a built-in love seat and a pair of cabinets. Aft of this is a cedar-lined closet. To port, we find even more storage. The master ensuite is more opulent than you'd imagine with his and hers vanities and a centerline shower with a tub. Stepping out of the ensuite reveals the master stateroom's aft bulkhead with a TV and hidden additional storage. Now back in the foyer, we face a pair of staterooms. The port stateroom has a walk around queen berth with outboard storage. There's also an ensuite. The starboard guest stateroom has a pair of twin berths and also features an ensuite. Let's pass back through the foyer and pick back up on the starboard side of the salon. Moving forward, we pass the pilot house stairs on our way to the main deck dayhead. Emerging from the other end of the foyer brings us to the galley. This galley is easily one of the best parts of Sea Philly's design. It's wide open with plenty of counter space and is fully outfitted with commercial grade appliances. There are a pair of Sub-Zero fridge freezers with a wine cooler directly across. There's also a microwave, a KitchenAid cooktop, and an oven below. On the port side is a sink. Facing forward, we can see a dishwasher and a trash compactor. Conjoined to the galley is the third dining space on the main deck, and undoubtedly, it's the coziest and the most comfortable. Imagine crowding around this table with three generations of your family. Everybody laughing, likely talking over each other, and grabbing for the last slice of pizza. That's part of what makes this country kitchen a personal favorite. There's a set of stairs to port that leads down to the VIP. In here is a queen berth and an ensuite. The privacy this room offers by being in the bow makes it a welcomed escape after a long day, something your guests will thank you for. Overhead of the VIP is our last stop, the foredeck. The bow is accessed via side decks from midship. The flare of the bow adds extra width to the side decks, and this makes moving forward and aft a safe and easy task. Forward is the ground tackle, which consists of a pair of windlasses with 300 feet of chain and a pair of bow anchors. Whether at sea or at anchor, Sea Philly is an entrancing vehicle for broadening your view of the world, and with her brand new complete paint job, she looks pretty amazing doing it. Sea Philly is special. Some can see it from the dock, Others see it when they step into the master, but it's crystal clear to everyone when she's up on plane chasing the sunset. 
From her hull to her superstructure, her elegance to her power, she really is the best of both worlds. As always, we're honored that you've joined us on another walkthrough. If you like what you've seen, you may be pleased to know that we have hundreds of other videos just like this one. So you subscribe and we promise to keep them coming. If you want any more information on Sea Philly, or if you want to see her in person, reach out at any time.